the air gaps can have a very powerful effect in changing the characteristics of magnetic devices as the next two experiments will demonstrate. First, let us look at the effect of the single air gap in the magnetic device as shown here. Looking at the flux linkages versus the current characteristics of the device, it exhibits this saturation effect as we discussed before. And that essentially limits the inductor use in the switching converters to have some small average DC current shown here in the dotted lines and superimposed on that is typical triangular ripple current in inductors in the switching converters. Of course, the peak of this current is limited to this value at which point the inductance starts saturating. And at that point, we'll have this sharp uh, peak of the current. And that, in most cases, is not acceptable in switching converters. However, if we now increase the air gap, the net effect will be that we will be reducing the inductance. Reducing inductance, which is the slope of this characteristics, effectively means that by increasing the gap, we are reducing inductance. And therefore, at this point, we can now, if we still further increase the inductance, uh, increase the gap and reduce inductance, we can pass much larger current. And at some value shown here, we can pass very large DC current and still not saturate the core. Therefore, the air gap has a positive effect of controlling the DC saturation in the switching converters. The experiment that we'll be showing now here has uh, the single 2213 pod core, which has a screw in the middle. And we can essentially turn around the top part of the core and therefore introduce effectively the air gap in magnetic circuit. We can see on the flux versus linkages versus current characteristics on this trace how by increasing the air gap, the effectively the slope of the characteristics tilts over and uh, we can pass larger DC current without actually saturating the core. And we see that effect clearly here. We can now observe the same effect on the time domain waveforms on the scope here. And notice again that if we have a very small air gap, the current drawn is relatively small. But by increasing the air gap, the current drawn becomes larger and larger because of reduced inductance. And eventually, we start seeing the saturation effect by approaching the knee of the BH loop characteristic. I think if we see also back on the scope, we will see on a BH loop characteristic that the effect of the air gap has a tendency to linearize the characteristics of the magnetic material such that if we started with a small air gap and had the rather large nonlinear shaped characteristics, by increasing and introducing the air gap, the air gap starts dominating the magnetic device properties and therefore linearizes the magnetic device uh, characteristics.